Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Many Americans, when faced with that split-section de decision to act in a crisis with selfless valor or to flee, answer the call of duty in service to their fellow men. In June 2016, NYPD officers Peter Sibolsky and Hamid Armani, both of whom I had the privilege to meet last month, were on patrol in Times Square when a suspected bomb was thrown into their vehicle. Rather than vacating their vehicle in place, these officers selflessly drove their car one and a half blocks away from a crowded Times Square public. In that moment when others might have simply fled the scene to save their own lives, Officer Sobolski and Armani were prepared to sacrifice everything to save the people they were sworn to protect. This selfless act of bravery is just one of so many acts of heroism by our police officers every single day. This week is National Police Week, where we honor our members of law enforcement and remember the sacrifices of those who have lost their lives in the line of duty. The brave men and women protecting our communities deserve recognition for their selfless acts of courage and commitment to serving our union. This special week began in 1962 when President John F. Kennedy signed a proclamation which designated May 15th as Peace Officers Memorial Day. Every year, the week on which that date falls is designated as Police Week. Since then, thousands of our officers and their families from all across our great nation come to Washington, D.C. during this week to be recognized for their selfless duty and to honor those who have fallen in service to their community. I've always believed that our nation has a perennial obligation to provide our police officers with every ounce of support that we have to offer. These heroes deserve to know that the people of this nation, for whom they have given so much, are forever grateful. It really is the least that we can do for these brave men and women. As a member of Congress, I've committed myself to ensuring law enforcement is given all of the support necessary and more to carry out their selfless mission. Last year around this time, we passed five key pieces of legislation which both honor our police and ensure those still serving possess the tools and equipment needed to carry out this responsibility. Some of these bills included the Fallen Heroes Flag Act of 2016, the Federal Law Enforcement Self-Defense and Protection Act, and the Bulletproof Vest Partnership Grant Program and Reauthorization Act. And again, this year, this week, we're doing the same, passing legislation to protect our law enforcement who sacrificed so much to protect us. In recent years, our nation has become fractured, and our police have been subject to acts of violence and hatred. It is more important now than ever before that law enforcement receives our unwavering appreciation and support and respect. Courage, leadership, and a commitment to service. These are the qualities embedded within our members of law enforcement, the traits by which they uphold deeply with dignity and honor. This week and every week, it is so important to honor those who have put themselves into harm's way to protect us our families, and our communities. And their sacrifices will and should be revered for generations to come. Thank you. I yield back.